Amerikano para makapasok sa, sa Pilipinas. Ano, lahat ng daanan nila, nauuna na mga gerila na nagliliberate noon. Ang mga hapon naman, takbo ng takbo lang, magtatago na nga kung saan saan. Kaya wala na halos sa putukan, wala ng labanan. Ngayon, sa bawat taon, ay tinataas nila ang flag ng American flag dahil na ano. At uh, masasabi ko na ang Pilipino talagang maka, makabayan dahil sa ang pinang, pinakiusap nila sa mga Amerikano na pagtataas ng American flag, we were still under America at the time, remember? Pero ang Philippine flag must also go with the American flag. Kaya pagtataas ng American flag kasama ang Philippine flag. Kaya si Aurora de la Rosa, when she came to, to make Hawaiian to liberate, it was the last town, supposed to be the last town. Nagulat na lang kami, nabalitaan na lang namin. Doon sa kanyang pamangkin, si Napoleon, na nagpakamat, na, na namatay daw si Major de la Rosa. Naparili daw, meron daw, meron daw bala na Pagkatapos niyang itayo, itaas yung flag, eh, meron isang bala na tama-tama sa heart niya yata. Patay siya kaagad. Kaya that's the end of her story. Pero she was a brilliant woman. Marami siyang nakuha sa mga uh, fighting nila during the war. Tatlong taon silang nakipaglaban sa mga Hapon sa gerila. Just the eh, one of the eh, right hand uh, help of General Santos, Alejo Santos. Pinsaran do si Alejo Santos, nandun din si Major de la Rosa. Eh, naging uh, kababata ako yun. There, I was ordered by our commanding officer to work for the Japanese Naval Navy, which is the Taigon High Bhutan. And I work every day from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the morning. I was hired as uh, a clerk, but I had another duty, which is to bring merienda to the Japanese officers every 9 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, wherein I was able to do my duty as an officer of the intelligence of the Western Luzon guerrilla forces, wherein I had a piece of paper which I kept in my breast and with the complete map of Longapu Naval Base because I grew up there and uh, so that I can jot down where the, they have the cannons, you know, where they have the different kinds of uh, arm, arms, their armories and everything and I was able to list them down. There was an order that we had to go to the Zigisa between Zamba, between Olongapo and the Mataan. We, we had to fight the Japanese there. So we went down and fought with the Japanese. That's why I know how to handle a 45 uh, 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 gun, or, but uh, instead of a 22, I have a 45. And we were successful to repulse the Japanese there, and we went back to Mount Pinatubo. Malaki din ang papel ng mga Pilipinong veterano dahil yung pagliligtas ng 511 American prisoners no, ay naisagawa dahil sa tulong ng mga Pilipinong guerrilla. Uh, of course, yung principal role was done by the Americans. No? Pero yung ginawa ng mga Pilipino mahalaga dahil sila yung tumulong upang malaman halimbawa kung ilan ang mga hapon na nasa loob ng kampo no, sa Kabanutuan Camp. No? Ito daw yung isa sa mga pinakabrutal na, na kampo ng mga, ano, ng mga hapon. Maraming pinatay, marami ang talagang nasalanta, marami ang... Halos skeleto na lang ang katawan nung itakas sila ng mga Amerikano at mga Pilipinong sundalo at veterano. No?
naganap ito noong January 28, 1945. Parating na mga Amerikano. Malaki ang papel ng mga Pilipino kasi yung surveillance eh. Sila yung nakakalapit dun sa kampo upang alamin kung sino-sino ba yung in charge dun sa mga POW na may mga Amerikanong prisoners. Ano? Alam nila kung ilan yung tao na nagbabantay. Alam nila kung ang main gate, kung ano ang uri ng lock. No? Importante yon dahil kailangan nila malaking flyers per bawa para basakin yung main gate. At kung anong oras nagpapalit ng gwardiya no, sa tore, no? inaalam nila yun eh. At kung ano ang kanilang mga armas na ginagano. No? Pati yung activities inside and outside of the camp. Importante din yun eh. Kung anong oras binubuksan, kung anong oras nagdadala ng food supply, gano'n. Kung saan makalocate yung mga prisoners, kung ilang tao yung nagagwarya sa main gate, saka sa small gates, gano'n. And then of course yung timing. Yung timing ng My favorite hero is a peacetime story during war. It's a peacetime story during war. It's about Colonel Nugin when my father was arrested in Pampanga, in Guagua, he was buying and selling hogs so that he could earn a living for his nine children and wife. No, He was arrested because uh, they said he is a hook. I know, a Japanese spy. How could he be a Japanese spy when my brother is a veteran? So for two weeks, we suffered silently. My mother crying all the time, but then praying all the time. And then one, uh, one day, somebody said, Colonel Nugget will be coming. We didn't know him. Why? My mother said. But then one, uh, one day, at early dawn, no? He came with his men, bringing my father, who was all smiles, can you imagine? We thought that we will never see our father anymore. Can you imagine? Colonel Nugget bringing my father home. We never knew that he made a background check. No. All our neighbors were interviewed about the character of my father, and then said, Eh, may anak ng veterano yan. Paano magiging spiya ng hapon? Can you imagine? Ang hindi ko makakalimutan when my, fa- my mother knelt. Lumuhod siya nung nakaupo na si Colonel Nugod. Lumuhod siya at hinalikan sa kamay si Colonel Nugod. Every time, I think. I, I don't know how I felt, pero... Young as I am, I could only appreciate Colonel Nugid. Naisip ko, this is a man who had a very deep sense of justice at wartime. Huh? This is a man who valued the sanctity of life. You know, he could have summarily executed my father. Maan ang kailangan na kailangan katahimikan. Kung gusto mong maging tunay na bayani, huwag kang madaldal. Sarado mo ang bibig mo at magtrabaho ka ng tahimik. Marami kang magagawa, hindi lang, sa'yo, hindi lang para sa iyong sarili at sa mga kasambahay mo at kamag-anak, kundi pati sa bayan mo. While in a war, nobody wins, everybody loses. Wars bring out the best, and they bring out the worst in men. Ang isa ko pang nakikita ng bagandang naging epekto ng pananakop ng mga Japones ay uh, yung paglakas ng pagdadamayan ng mga Pilipino, lalong lalo na sa mga kanayunan sa mga probinsya. Uh, sa aking pagsasaliksik at pagtanong-tanong sa aking mga kababayan sa Laguna, ang sabi nila, 
talagang nakakakain sila ng ayos. Meron pang merienda. No? Hindi sila nagutom dahil uh, meron namang pagkukunan ng pagkain tulad ng mga gulay, mga isda, at kahit na karne. No? At nagluluto sila ng mga kakanin no? noong panahon ng hapon. At pinamimigay sa mga tao. Hindi, hindi lang sa mga kamag-anak, kundi sa mga sa mga kabayan, lahat ng dumadaan daw doon sa kanilang kalye ay naaabutan ng kahit na konti. No? So yung pagdadamayan, nakita ko parang lumakas. Mas malakas nung panahon ng, ng hapon. Napakaraming magagandang values na matututuhan sa gera. Siya, yun na nga. Na matuto tayong pahalagahan ang halaga ng buhay. Madaling pumatay, di ba? Kasi yan ang uso sa gera. Patay din eh, patay doon. At nabasa ko doon sa ano ni Kenel Pobe. Ang ano pala, ang proportion is for every Filipino that was killed, there were 36 Japanese. In other words, uh, the Japanese used to be the victors, but then they also suffered. Yeah. At saka ano pa, natuto tayong mag Diba? Natuto tayong mag-save. Natuto tayong maging masipag. Hindi ka pwede magtamad-tamad eh. If you will not work, you will not eat. And most of all, we learn to be resourceful. Diba? Natuto tayo na gumawa ng paraan para tayo mabuhay. Ang pinaka-importante, your readiness to serve your country. The valor, di ba? The service you can render your country. Hindi pwede yung salita lang. Eh. Kailangan ipakita mo sa gawa. No? Pakita mo sa gawa na ikaw ay handa na magpakamatay para sa kalayaan. Lahat tayo ay makakatulong no? upang uh, mapagaan o mapabuti ang kalagayan ng Pilipinas sa anumang panahon. Maging digmaan man o maging sa panahon ng katahimikan. Importante kasi ang pag-aaral ng kasaysayan upang mabuo ang ating identidad, upang mapalaganap natin ang nasyonalismong Pilipino no? at upang mapalakas natin ang ating pagka-Pilipino. No? Sa ngayon, parang kulang pa tayo sa self-confidence. I do not know, I may be wrong. No? Pero, umaangat na rin. No? Umaangat na. Way back in the 1960s, parang mababa. Ngayon, umaangat na. Little by little. And by God's help, the money that I received from this, I was able to help the poor children in our place. I was able to help them with their notebooks, their papers, their pencils, and everything. That's the only thing I can do now, because I'm now 85 years old and a half, and I hope to God that I will live longer so I can help others yet, and at the same time, I could help my grandchildren. I have to uh, admit that I also have another favorite, ano, uh, war hero a lady uh, and i was told that uh, she helped in the intelligence uh, during the war ganun din yan. and her name is uh, gloria martinez santos ay susanya ayoko wag mo sabi kapangalan ko pa nakakapagtaka naman <laughs> Kaya ako napaigtad, sabi ko, ba pati middle name. I will respect you, ma'am. I will respect that. Thank you. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Super. Yeah, thank we you. Ha you have to know how, how we thank you.